We have some breaking news. In a joint practice today between the Rams and Texans, Rams starting quarterback Jared Goff took a very nasty hit from a blitzing Texas linebacker and was seen in an air cast leaving the facility. An x-ray later went on to confirm that the worst has possibly happened. A broken arm with severe ligament damage to Jared Goff. It appears this clears the way for one man to lead this stacked Rams team in the 2019 season where it really has been built, this roster, to be Super Bowl or bust. That man? Like, wow. you're a man, like you, or you're a boy, I forgot, you're 23. You could but say you, man. Okay. Big daddy. But you're, you're big mm -hmm. daddy. What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Um, usually just piss. That's right. The boat himself, dart ripping, piss rocking, Florida man personified and a professional athlete, Blake Bortles, is going to be taking over at the helm here with Jared Goff going down to a very, very serious injury. Can we do it? This is a Rams team. Aaron, I mean, the whole structure of the team's salary cap is designed to win right away, and Blake Bortles is gonna have to be that guy. If QB guru, if NFL's golden child, Sean McVay, does anybody know how old he is? For the love of God, I have gone six months without hearing how old Sean McVay is. If Sean McVay can work some wonders, take this ball of clay that has been destroyed, smells like cigarettes and, and blonde bimbos, if he could take this clay and mold it into a sculpture, an Adonis, a Greek god, which Blake Bortles has that potential we can go on a Super Bowl run. We can go on a Super Bowl run. So we're going to give him an opening drive here against the Texans. Try to get a little bit of revenge, even though probably deep down, Blake Bortles is a little bit satisfied that Goff's down. So now he has another opportunity in L.A. But uh, let's get a drive here. Let's see how the boat era is going to start. Quite the drive going here for the boat show. First and 10 on the 15. We're going to assume we're probably only going to get this drive. So we definitely want to end it with a touchdown. Uh, another storyline is, you know, this was maybe a year that Goff was going to have to take that next progression because of the injury to Todd Gurley's knee. Everyone says he has the knee of like a 95-year-old man. So now all that is going to be thrown on the shoulders of Blake Bortles. And we're going to see how he responds to said, oh, that wasn't a great throw at all. He just threw that away. He knew that was going to be a pick. But we're going to see how he's going to respond to all that added pressure. Third and three on the eight. I hope to God we stay out here for four downs if we can't get it here. But looks like we... Don't, because Gerald Everett is a, oh, first, first and goal, okay, 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 we got one more play, first and goal, I might burn a timeout just to make sure we can get at least an opening drive score here, Robert Woods, beautiful, there's the score, so that worked out pretty well, preseason victory, got some momentum, got a skill point upgrade here for Mr. Blake Bortles, making him a scheme fit, getting him to be the perfect project, prospect, whatever you want to call it, for Mr. McVeigh, QB1, 69 overall. You probably had to ask him, he'd say you'd want to stay at this overall. But here we go, we're getting ready for a huge, huge season here. And those first three games are very difficult. The Panthers on the road, Saints at home, Browns on the road, but that's nothing I don't think Blake Bortles isn't cut out for. And through four weeks, we're three and one. We are top dogs in the NFC West, and we got a lot of hype here for this week five matchup. We got McVeigh, first of all, very surprised he didn't start off by telling me uh, how uh, well, how old he is, but we got to go preparation over rest. You think Blake Boyles just wants to crash on his couch, play some Fortnite? Well, no, he just he he's got to take the morale hit to make sure everyone is ready to go. We want to talk about Russell Wilson now. Does he matter in the eyes of Blake Bortles because he's only five foot ten and Blake Bortles is a towering six five Adonis? Probably not. So we're gonna talk some crap. We're gonna talk some crap. And then we got Bobby Wagner over here. Oh, my word. Well, no, you know, you're one of the better linebackers. I'm going to intimidate you because you're also kind of short for a linebacker, Bobby. What? Bobby. Robert? We're going to call him. Blake Boyle seems like the kind of guy that would call him Robert Wagner. Okay? So let's go into this week five matchup on the road. Hostile territory at the Link Field. Did they call it the Link? They shouldn't call it the Link because that's what the Eagles called their old stadium. But it's Century Link Field. Home of the 12th man. That's also not Texas A&M, but it's the 12th man. Boat show's ready. All right, first goal on the one, went under center because we're going to fire it in to Mr. Robert Woods. That is a huge touchdown, demoralizing, takes this crowd right out of it. Nice drop. Second goal on the five, tied at 10 early in the second half. We got, we got Bortles in the zone right now. He's in the zone. 
He's feeling himself. He's feeling good. He's scrambling. He's got to throw on the run. And he can't get his feet down because Brandon Cooks is a one-dimensional receiver. It's not Brake Bortles' fault. So now we got third and goal from the five. We got Gerald Everett at the top. That tight end wide receiver hybrid. It's a big target. That's a big target. Who are we going to go to? Watch this. Okay, if we can't complete this pass to B, I don't know what we can do. Robert Woods, second touchdown of the game. I like that chemistry between the two. Oh, idiots. We got Dumb and Dumber out here. Oh, Cooper Cup gets open on some slants. Jeez. That should be enough for a dub. Third touchdown of the game for the boat. Establish dominance. P. Carroll can't believe it. He just got boated. Blake Bortles comes in. Hostile environment. Lots of pressure. Team decisions that did not go over well. Minus five morale coming in. He comes in. Four touchdowns on the day. Phenomenal. Showed great rapport with all the wide receivers here. Just a career day for Blake Bortles. 320 yards. Four touchdowns as the Rams smoke the Seahawks 34-17. And at the end of the season, the boat is on fire. 77 overall, up to that when we start 68 with a plus one in the morale. He's very confident. Look, guys, incredibly confident. Some people have asked him, Blake, where's your confidence come from? Well, there's been reports that he's back together with his absolute smoke show of a girlfriend that he met at UCF, Lindsey Duke, as shown here. So, I mean, clearly, you'd have confidence playing with that one. I mean, Sean McVay probably... You know, assisted. I mean, you're in LA now. You're in LA. That's you know, it's easy, and everyone wants to get and strike while the iron is hot. And I, I don't blame him. Glad Blake Bortles' personal life is seeing a uptick as he led the Rams to a league best 14 and two record, the number one seed in the National Football League. Of course, we want to take a look at his stats. Take a little quick gander at his stats, his performance this year. He was, you know, he was, he was, he was all right. 4,000 passing yards, just 20 in the NFL. Uh, we got 32 touchdowns, five picks. I think that's tying career best. That one year breakout year he had. He went 35, 44 for 35 and 18 versus 40 for 32. I, I think we'll definitely take this season because the turnovers are, you know, cut in a third. Uh, Gurley was amazing. We clearly were able to rely on the run. He averaged over 110 yards per game. Um, consistent wide receiver core, no breakout, but you know, guy like Blake Bowles, everybody eats. You don't need to keep force feeding one guy. Everyone eats what about our boy Aaron Donald Aaron Donald with a not great season 12 TFLs 12 sacks that is definitely disappointing but all that matters is that the boat show the improbable run is leading this Rams team that's Super Bowl favorites and first up it's the boat versus Aaron Rodgers we all know who the better quarterback is in this matchup but they're nine six and one we should just dust them off let's dust them let's go open and drive here for us we want to we want to put points up on the board we got some good blocking. No one gets open. Come on, someone get open. No one gets open. Third and three. We got it. We got. We got to get points in. Let's 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 do something here. What do we got? Cup. Cooper Cup. Good target. Top target. Top man. But it's Woods. That was late. That was late on Robert Woods' part. Blake Boyles did everything fine. At least we'll get some points on the board. Oh, Cooper Cup, filthy. Absolute filth from Cooper Cup getting the first touchdown of this game in the dire moments of the first half. Now we got a little bit of adversity down four here, late in the third. Well, that's when Blake Boyles plays his best, when you got a little bit of adversity right there. Cooks across the middle, holds it in. Big time touchdown, big time throw by a big time player. All right, we got third and seven here. Definitely want a first down to try to close this one out. We need Big Daddy to step it up. Let's go, Big Daddy. Big number five, step it up. Oh, the lot of the tight end gets open. Bad coverage, blown coverage. That could be enough to steal this victory and moving this team to the NFC Championship. Third and goal on the four. We could just try to run it, make them burn their third timeout, but you don't want the comeback king, Aaron Rodgers himself, getting any opportunity to try to win. So I'd rather at least try to throw it once. Oh. Oh, got it in there. What kind of animation bullshit is that? He had the catch and he just got popped up into the air. Garbage. 
And we missed the field goal. Fucking bullshit. Blake Worlds being the luckiest man alive. As seen by Lindsey Duke. We win the coin toss. We get the ball. This game never should have gone to overtime, though. That was ridiculous. You lack a discipline. P.I. That's P.I. That was a great throw. P.I. Drive continues. First and goal on the eight. Let's do this. Why am I not getting play art? Where's my play art? Okay, cool. Don't need it anyway. Don't need it anyway. Because we're just going to throw it to Cooper Cup. Third and goal on the six. Now, I don't know. For whatever reason, I don't get to see any of my play art, which is great. Don't need it. With Blake Bortles. Don't need it. Ah! And he dropped it! No, oh, okay, now everything is... <laughs> we make the field goal, Aaron Rodgers goes down and... Fuck. Kiss my ass, man! Sean McVay's so overrated. And that, that kind of does it. We're only on a one-year deal. I'm st uh, I'm super triggered, but you know Blake Bortles wouldn't be upset. He'd be like, you know what? You live, you live and you learn, right? You live and you learn. He took over a team. He had no opportunities. Made the most of it. Went deep. Now UDFA, or U free agent right now, there's two bids. The Giants want him. The Broncos want him. No one Blake Bortles. Back with Lindsey Duke. There's only one decision here. You go out on top. You go out on top, you get a job, bar stool, you do something like that. The end. Or is it? Hmm. No, the most Blake Bortles thing to do would be to participate in retiring after one season. Just go, you know, greatest, one of the greatest stories ever. People look at Nick Foles with the Philadelphia Eagles. No, it takes a real champ to come back in a bigger market like LA and then fail, but still have your head held high. So that'll do it for the first uh, career revival, guys. I was going to start my new rebuild series, but I want my custom draft classes and all that stuff to be ready before we do that. So we did a revival, and this is definitely a series that has been pretty fun. I don't know what the frequency of these are going to be. Maybe once the regular season starts, there'll be some storylines that could be interesting to take over in a Madden format like AP last year with the Redskins. But I always will be looking for and scanning the comments for suggestions of what you want to see here uh, on the channel for content. So if you have any good revivals, let me know. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping You talking that shit when you talking and talking Look at my options, look at me dropping Ass in the game like, who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never I'm way too clever Look at the kid, Mr. Consistent, I'm doing it